Meanwhile, Oregon SNAP recipients got their February funds two weeks early. According to the Department of Human Services, it's all because of the government shutdown. Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz tells us how this is impacting local food stamp recipients. TV dinners, things like that. But that what used to be full on, I'm short on bread. Do you feel like you have enough food right now in your kitchen? For now, yeah. How long do you think it'll last you? I'm hoping a month. I'm hoping. Evelyn Bross receives $65 a month from SNAP, and every dollar counts. Very crucial. Paying my regular bills and then buying groceries, and I just bought cat food, and it's, it goes real fast. Bross normally gets her SNAP benefits administered at the beginning of the month and budgets accordingly. But with it coming two weeks early, she says it makes it difficult to know how to make each dollar stretch, not knowing when she'll get her March food stamp funds. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling frustrated about it. It's not right. It, the government shutdown is going way too far. There's too many people that are being affected by this. It is scary. It don't, it's like you're not going to know if the benefits are going to continue, if they're suddenly just going to stop everything. And for mother of three, Wendy Seatman, she and her family rely heavily on government assistance. The family lives in public housing and receives $474 per month from SNAP. She's on disability and isn't able to work, and her husband is the only one working. I just want it to be resolved. I want it to be, you know, just brought to an end. The stories from these two women represent so many families who are impacted by this, not only in Oregon, but across the country. As Fox 12 received an influx of messages from people sharing the same concerns for the future. Zara Hurwitz. Well, that was Sarah Hurwitz reporting right now. It's unclear when March benefits will be issued for those SNAP recipients.